Do you have multiple Google accounts? The best way to manage this is through Chrome. Don't add accounts. It just causes problems. Notice here in Google Chrome, when I click on my picture, it shows one account and it says add another account. You do not want to do that. Do not add another account. This causes account conflicts. So when you're in the same account and it's multiple accounts and use a Chrome extension, it's like, which account am I using? When you try to do an add-on and you authorize it, it's pretty common to accidentally authorize it for the account you're not using. So you're like, this doesn't work. You create a Google Docs and you think, where did this go? Well, it created it in the other account. It just causes all kinds of problems because they're sharing the same cookies and things where they're just kind of mixed in the same pot. It's just a mess. So you want to make sure that when you click on your picture in Google that you only see one account. Now, Chrome is a different matter. So we're going to look here. Notice that I have this picture two times. And so when I click on the one up in the Chrome toolbar, you can see I actually have a lot of Google accounts. So I'm going to select this one and this one. Look how easy it is for me to just open a whole bunch of different Google accounts. But the thing is, I'm in all of them at the same time. But because I did it through Chrome, they are separate. So the cookies on this one doesn't talk to the cookies on this one. And when I make something on this Chrome login, it doesn't create it over here ever. It's beautiful. Look what happens when I separate my... So you'll see I have five different Google accounts right now. Five different Google accounts. And they look up here, you notice that there's no Chrome extensions, where this one has a lot of Chrome extensions because they don't talk to each other. So each Chrome login is unique and it allows you to do easy working with multiple accounts, especially if like your kid's using your computer sometimes. You can have your kid's account and your account, and you don't have to necessarily log out so they can check their schoolwork really quickly. You can just switch logins. So again, you want to look up here at the top of Chrome, not here where your Google account is, where you're logged into Drive or Gmail. Go a little higher, scroll down, and add as many accounts as you need to.